Ron, whose club do you think is better, yours or mine? The answer is mine. Say mine is better. It's not a competition. Oh, but it is. Your club made it a competition when they kept girls out. Oh, my stars, I'm just a little lady. My fragile constitution cannot handle the fearsome outdoors. I have no problem with strong women, Leslie. Who's Leslie? My name is Annabelle Vandergraaf, and y'all, I just fall to pieces when the sun shines on my head. However, the Pawnee Rangers were founded because some boys want to go out into nature and learn traditional survival skills without being distracted by girls. Well, my awesome goddesses don't want to be distracted by losers. Say my club is better, Ron. Say it. My club is better. Say it. Come on, say it's better. Say it. Say it's better. Say my club is better. Say it. Give it up. Whose club is better? Mine. Say it. You know it. Say it. On principle, I never say anything that another person is obviously trying to get me to say. My first wedding ceremony took two hours because after the priest said, repeat after me, I fell silent. Why are you even here? What have you ever done for this city? My company has stimulated Pawnee's economy. You're just still upset about Morningstar. I told you to never say that word to me. No one should ever say that word out loud. It's like Voldemort or Ron. You know what? You don't deserve that candle. Give me that Let candle. Go. Let this go. This candle's mine. No, give me this candle. You steal my team, I steal your candle. I stole nothing. Yes. Guys. I want it. Leslie. Stop. Yes. Oh. 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 It's OK. Everything's fine. Just wheel out the backup cake. There's no backup cake. Who doesn't bake a backup cake? Mel's here. Oh. Hey. Oh, uh, Jerry. You got soup all over our mail, jerk. Oh my god, it's an envelope from the IOW Awards office. Nobody freak out. Do you know what this means? I am Pawnee's Woman of the Year. The IOW is the Indiana Organization of Women. I have been a dues-paying member since I was nine, and every year they choose one woman to win the Dorothy Everton Smythe Female Empowerment Award. Winning is every girl's dream, but it's my destiny and my dream. Can you read it, please? Where are my ladies at? Here we go. The IOW is proud to announce this year's Dorothy Everton Smythe Female Empowerment Award winner, Ronald Swanson. Aha, uh -huh. okay, pretty funny. It says Ronald Swanson. What? No, 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 it does. I, that, no, that, what? They, they only honor women, and Ron's the opposite of a woman. What's going on? You're, um, Pawnee's Woman of the Year, looks like. Well, it's about time. <laughs> no, no, no. They've obviously made some sort of mistake. Bully for me. Congratulations, Ron. Yeah, congratulations. Congrats. It's very exciting. It's awesome. Awards are stupid, which is why I fully intend to decline this nonsense and recommend it go to Leslie, because she works really hard and I don't. However, she cares way too much about crap like this, which is why I can't pass up this opportunity to tease her about it. Well, we can't stand around all day congratulating me on receiving an award from some lousy women's organization. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. Hey, what's in the envelope? Nothing. You wanted to see me? I think the Pawnee chapter of the IOW has made a little mistake. Really? You're saying a women's organization made a mistake? I was as surprised as you were. But the fact is, they only give that award to women. Hmm. Well, it definitely said Ron Swanson in the letter. Yeah, but it also mentioned my camp project. Ah, yes, Camp Zena. Athena. Camp Athena. You don't even know the name. Oh, I almost got it. I was pretty close. No. Look, Leslie, your job, which you're great at, is making me look good, which you've clearly done well because I'm getting an award, right? Yeah. Be proud of yourself. I mean, you deserve an award. Not this one, obviously. This one belongs to me, but some other one. Some other lesser award. And if the shoe were on the other foot and you won the award, I would have congratulated you. Congratulations, Ron. What's that? You heard me. Hey, you wanted to see me? Yes, yes, just hang on one second. I'm doing my official portrait for the IUD Awards dinner program. I-O-W. No, this 
portrait is not official in any way. I'm paying for it myself. Did you need me? Because some of us actually do work around here. Work that often goes unrewarded. I need your opinion. Which of these objects most represents women for this portrait? A pot? Or this deputy director Barbie? She's an adorable, she's got a little briefcase, her cell phone. I'm going to help my boss win an award. How's the uh, scheduling conflict with the soccer teams going? Take care of that, did you? Nope, pass the buck to Donna. It's not really the attitude I expect from an award winner. Everything I do is the attitude of an award winner because I've won an award. Okay, think. There must be a way out of here. I don't think there is. They installed these magnetic locks two years ago. There's no way around them. Yes, there is. I'll simply punch my fist through a window. Ron, there's security wire in there. You'll slice your arm open. I would rather bleed out than sit here and talk about my feelings for 10 hours. There is another way. We'll just wait a few minutes, turn on this monitor, and then we'll tell Ben that we talked it out and made up. I'll just tell them that I apologized for whatever heroically caring too much, and you admitted that you're a stubborn butthead and everything's fine now. Why do I have to be stubborn? Why can't the problem have been that I was reasonable and you were at fault? Because we want them to believe us and not laugh really hard at a ridiculous science fiction scenario. We are not saying I was the problem. If we're gonna lie to them, I will not let you lie to them. Fine, I'll tell them that for the past three years you've been a perfect gentleman and scholar, and I am an insane weirdo who, despite being the only reason we even had a friendship to begin with, decided to ruin it out of the blue for no good reason. That sounds good, let's go with that. Hey! What are you doing? I destroyed the monitor! What if we have an emergency and have to get out of here? I did not consider that possibility! Everything's different. I mean, the furniture, the pictures. Craig changed everything. Did he? I tried not to notice anything when I worked here, or talk to anyone, or learn anyone's name. You of all people should know that, Lauren. Look, we are gonna be here for 10 hours. We could either talk about our issues and work through our problems, or we can just sit here doing nothing. I choose sit here. Come on, Ron, why don't we just- Sit here. Ron! Sit here! I bet I can make you talk. I'll take that bet at any odds, for any amount of money, over any length of time, stretching from now into infinity. Talk to me, 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 talk to me! Talk to me! Two, two, one word, and this is over. I think wood is stupid, and so is everybody else. You guys, Ron loves plastic. Last chance, Ron. You wanna talk, huh? Aha! Jackpot. You know what this is, Ron? This is a mix I made for the Summer Parks Barbecue 2007. I asked everyone in the Parks Department to choose one song. You chose Buddy by Willie Nelson. A fact I remember because my mind is a steel trap of friendship nuggets. But I am not going to play your choice. I'm going to play Jerry's choice. Ooh, that's right. And I'm going to sing along. And I'm going to maintain eye contact the whole time. And guess what? I don't know the words. Harry Truman was the guy. America, Red China, all the countries, other people, everyone is fun. Joe Montana, E. McKellen, I have to buy a new toaster. This is awesome. You're so stupid jumping up and down. Woo! Oh, I got it on repeat. Come on, Ron. You want to hear it again or you want to talk? No? OK, next verse. Freddy Krueger bought some pants. Oprah has a turtle farm. Peter Piper, pee pee poopy. Daddy ate a squirrel. Stop it! Eisenhower vaccine. I will speak with you for three minutes. Great. You surprised that my breasts didn't throw my aim off? Leslie, please. I don't care that you're a girl. I just don't like change. I like going to the same place with the same people, telling the same stories, and seeing who can bag the most turkeys. Well, it seems like you like to go hunting with the same people because you know you can beat them. 100 bucks says I bag more birds than you. You're on. Let's split up. I do it better alone. Yeah, you do. See? Just one of the guys. This is such a great day. See, 
my house. I got a wife and three beautiful daughters. But this trip, it is the one time of year I get to pee standing up. Mm. Oh, I love that sound. Ah! Ah, I've been shot! Ah! I've been shot! Somebody shot me in the head! Bula, bula, bula! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Rana, right. 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 get your hat! Rana, have your hat! Oh Are you in a lot of pain? I was shot in the head with a shotgun. Hey, Ron, it's actually not that serious. I just need you to stay calm, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stay angry. I find that relaxes me. Okay, Ron, we called 911, and they're gonna send a ranger. Oh, damn! This is a mess. The Rangers won't let us come back next year. You know what? We're not going to think about that right now. You guys, can you just put him on the daybed in the carcass uh, room? Daybed? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Donna? 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 Okay, here's your scotch. Okay, Jerry. Jerry's here. Here's your scotch, Ron. There there we go, Ron. Okay. Hey, you know what is great? Anne's going to take care of you. And Anne is the best nurse in North America. All right, here you go. Uh, what, you okay? Did you, did you shoot me? What? No. There was a bird kind of near me, and I know how desperate you were to prove yourself. No, no, I swear I didn't. Ron, I swear to God, I've never shot anyone. Well, you better find out who it was, and then purchase them a coffin, because I'm gonna rip them apart. Okay. I think I have a plan of how to save your store. If we get the Pawnee Historical Society to declare your store as a historical landmark, then you might get enough of a tax break to keep your business afloat. That sounds like the government meddling in private enterprise. Well, Ron, we all know how much you love the free market, but the Pawnee Video Dome is the only place in town where people gather to do something intellectual. That and the slam poetry nights at Beanie's Coffee, but I do not count those because those poems do not rhyme. Anything can be a slam poem if you say it like this. It's pointless. This man is a failure. He is not up to snuff. His business is failing and you're bailing it out. This is a bailout and I don't like it. And there are some pretty intellectual conversations down at Barrett's Hardware. The government should not prop up a failed business. That would be like giving food to a mortally wounded animal instead of slitting its throat and properly utilizing its meat and pelt. Please stop talking about wounded meat. Pawnee needs a place where the community can gather to discuss and appreciate art. A place where you can rent such films as Cinema Paradiso or Rashomon. You rented Rashomon. What was your favorite part of that? I haven't rented it actually yet, but I like the idea that there is a place where I could rent Rashomon. Uh, you can just watch it online for free whenever you want. Bailiff! Thank you, Mr. Swanson, for your absurd opinion, which is shared by no one. Now, are there any more public comments before we vote? Mm. Councilwoman, I just came down to see the effects of your government intervention, and I've got to hand it to you. You really turned this place around. Really? Oh, my God, this is amazing, Dennis. Hey. You did it. We did it. I did it. This is me. <laughs> yes, it was. I took your advice. Got rid of all those dusty old foreign films and used the money for the part of our business that's always done pretty well for us. Give the people what they want, right? This isn't what people want. It's definitely what that guy wants. I like this store now. Do you realize what you have done? The Pawnee government now effectively owns a porn shop. You have made us porn peddlers. <laughs> Ron, my rock. My steady guiding light. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Did you get that soda refill I asked for? I need you, Ron, OK? I'm in big trouble. I need to go back to those chambers in 20 minutes, and I have to cast a vote, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Ron, the people at the public forum said they might want to fire me. So what? I tried to fire you. <laughs> OK, Ron, come on, be serious. I was not joking. Here is your personnel file. See for yourself. Brilliant work. Commendation, above and beyond. Keep reading. Request for termination? You tried to fire me once? No, 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 no. I tried to fire you four times. What? You... Me... Four... four, 
Fire times? If you need to boot again, trash can's on your right. I don't understand. Why did you try to get me fired? The first year you worked here, you drove me nuts. I would say no to something you wanted to do and you'd ignore me. Or go over my head and do it anyway. You were insubordinate, stubborn, a pain in my ass, and worst of all, bubbly. I was a dedicated public servant. Right, that was the worst thing you were. The point is, I ended up withdrawing all four requests to have you fired, because ultimately I'd rather work with a person of conviction than a wishy-washy kiss-ass. Well, I had conviction because I knew what I believed in, but I don't know what this new job. I, I just feel like I've lost my bearings. No, you haven't. You may have wandered into unknown terrain, but you're still you. You know what? You're gonna pull out some embarrassing photo of me from high school? Take this compass. All great adventurers need one. <sighs> Thank you, Ron. And listen, as far as all this firing stuff goes, I will not forget, and I will never forgive you. There she is. Mm -hmm.